Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're continuing our discussion on the programming terminology. Uh, yesterday we talked about the microcycle, which is basically the week of training. How are you going to structure your week of training? And I think you should probably uh, get an idea of that, but maybe not necessarily before outlining your entire uh, I'm going to use the word that we're going to talk about tomorrow, macro cycle, the whole bout of training. We'll define that a little bit more later. But the next big piece of training uh, up from your one week, your micro cycle is called your meso cycle or your meso cycle. OK, now <laughs> this is what does your month of programming or your six weeks or your three weeks or whatever of programming look like? How long am I going to keep my microcycles like I am doing right now? How long am I going to try to attain one given adaptation? Now, um, this one, I think that's kind of that last point is the biggest way to describe this. It is all dedicated to building an adaptation and generally only one. There might be a secondary adaptation that you're not quite as concerned about. And you might have other exercises in there that help you keep some of the adaptations that you've had previously from previous mesocycles. Uh, we might say we are trying to keep our training residuals. That is actually a jargony term that we use. But there's only one main focus because in general, these different adaptations compete with each other. If I build one, I'm probably going to steal from another one or at least it's going to die out a little bit. So I need to be really particular about what I need and when I need it. So if I'm working towards a competition, I need to say, OK, what makes sense to train right now? If I'm just training someone who just wants to look a little bit better or be kind of fit, I just tell them what their mesocycles look like. And a lot of it is really generalized training. Occasionally we get to some more specified, spec yeah, specified training where we start to really progress on one particular kind of exercise or kind of adaptation. And we can say that that's maybe your goal through training. Uh, if, you know, maybe your goal is to do a chin up, then I need to make my training specific for building up your chin up. It can't just be general forever because you're not going to one day all of a sudden be able to do a chin up if you've never tried to really do one and you're still 40 pounds overweight. OK, now mesocycles. Basically, there is one adaptation throughout the entire mesocycle. And now throughout a macro cycle, which is the next big step, which we'll talk about tomorrow, throughout all that, we, we change our mesocycle. So generally, people are writing programs in four to six week blocks because that's the amount of time that a given program will work. Now, if you get to week six and you're still making improvements and you're not really like bored and you don't need a change in programming, you can bring it out even further. You want to kind of milk out as much progress from the program as you possibly can, uh, because that sets you up for longer term progress. Uh, I've got to, you know, again, we, we talk about our adaptation pyramid. Those, you know, more generalized training things are down here by my thumbs at the base of the pyramid. And then we work up to the top and we get to things like power and very specific uh, sporting activities, for example. So the way that I like to this is maybe this is maybe something we'll wait on. So each mesocycle has one particular adaptation and in tomorrow what we're going to talk about is how should I structure those adaptations? How do I know which adaptation to search for next?